as love and betrayal, greed and murder. It's set in this interesting world of contrasting ideologies and like what's right and wrong and has a great philosophy about it. Every single character is incredibly complex. You think you know them, you think you've got them pegged as uh, what they seemingly are, but they really aren't. Everybody knew what this place was, and no one told me. No one but you. Tyrion relates to Jon Snow because Jon is uh, the black sheep of his family as well. Tyrion is treated like a bastard, so they have that in common. My Lord of Lannister, I saw you entertain you while you eat. I can see your father's victory at King's Landing. Nothing would more likely ruin my supper. Who ever heard the phrase, rich as a Lannister? I am a Lannister. Tyrion, son of Tywin. Tyrion Lannister has had a very complicated upbringing in relation to his father and his sister because of his size and his mother died when he was born. So there's a very dark cloud hanging over him. Cersei despises Tyrion. She blames him for the death of her mother, and Tyrion is as wily as she is. And so I think she's very threatened by his calculation. Tyrion is a dwarf. He's, he's younger than his two siblings. He enjoys playing with people's expectations of him. He's had a very complicated upbringing in relation to his father. Being a dwarf and all that, that's in the medieval times that was considered a judgment of the gods. Word's probably gotten to my father by now. He'll be offering a handsome reward. Everyone knows a Lannister always pays his debts. It's just a little reminder to, to the people in this world who are constantly stabbing each other in the back that if you scratch my back, I will scratch yours. Don't leave me alone with these people. I'm sorry. I've begun the feast a bit early. And this is the first of many courses. Tyrion is sort of the, the good bad guy, the bad good guy. You might as well kill me here. I am not a murderer, Lannister. Neither am I. He has zero powers with sword or physical defenses. So he has to defend himself with his uh, wit and charm. Look at me and tell me what you see. Is this a trick? What you see is a dwarf. If I had been born a peasant, they might have left me out in the woods to die. He likes playing with people's expectations of his size as well. He knows exactly who he is. What's your story, bastard? Ask me nicely and maybe I'll tell you, dwarf. Tyrion and Jon Snow have a common ground with each other. He is considered the bastard of his family and I'm considered the bastard of mine, even though I'm of the same gene code. Little brother, beloved siblings. Tyrion and Cersei both have a hard time being around each other. They see each other for who they really are. No, I just want to stand on top of the wall and piss off the edge of the world. <laughs> Children don't need to hear your filth. Tyrion and his brother Jaime have a close connection because of the horrible things that they've been through together. My dear brother, there are times you make me wonder whose side you're on. My dear brother, you wound me. You know how much I love my family. Jamie has gotten out of many tragic situations in the past. They have a real loyalty to each other. Tyrion has a lot of faults, but he's not one for lying. He sleeps well at the end of the day. See you at sundown. <laughs> Close the door!